Mistios, well, aren't you a sight to my aged eyes? Young, energetic. Perhaps I should just pay for your body instead of your help. Watch yourself. That's not my line of work. Oh, forgive me. I'm amazed the gods would send me someone so well suited to help me, but who is also so appealing to me physically. I'm glad to hear it. Corigos, my husband, is having some difficulties keeping up with my hunger for pleasure. I imagine any man would. Oh, I have many lovers, but he's my soulmate. When we're together, it's indescribable. Then don't describe it. When we were younger, we would run into the moonlit forest, shed our clothes, and pleasure each other until sunrise. Our howls of ecstasy would echo throughout the valleys. By the gods, woman! I said spare me the details. I wasn't expecting a tough-looking mercenary to be so squeamish about a little fun. What does this have to do with me? I've learned of a powerful elixir, which if consumed will give someone the vigor and stamina of Eros. If you can gather me the ingredients, I can make it for my husband. All right, I'll find the ingredients. If you promise to keep your nocturnal activities to yourself. I have some drachmi, and Koragos has more. If you can bring me some bear scrotum and a deer tongue, I can make the elixir. Oh, is that all you need? Don't worry, I'll reward you well. I'm sure Koragos will be thankful also. I'll be back with the ingredients soon. <laughs> Trouble if I'm spotted here. Will the hurt go away? Tell you what, you have to scare it away. If you roar like a lion, it'll run. <laughs> Good job. Now run along home. You must be a physician. Yes, I'm Lycaon. You must be a Mystheus. Are you here for treatment? A 
That depends. Will I have to roar for you too? <laughs> Sometimes the best medicine I can give my patients is a dose of hope. I take it you're not in need of care. I'm healthy as a horse. You look strong and prepared for anything. My patients need mandrake herbs. There's a part of them growing by a little stream southeast of here. Are you too busy to pick them? Too chewy. A pack of wolves is resting near the stream. I'll pay you generously for your trouble. You know how to talk to Amistios. Is that all you want? The mandrake herbs? For now. Bring them back to me, and I'll pack at them for my patients. Then we'll see. I'll bring you the herbs. You said they were southeast of here. Yes. By a little stream northeast of Kira. The flowers haven't bloomed yet, but the leaves are a distinctive grey-green. Thank you. would be near a little stream. That looks like it. What kind of elixir uses ingredients like this? This must be the herb Schlickown wanted. This should be enough mandrake herbs. Time to go back to the physician. Here, I found your herbs. Thank you. I'll prepare these for my patients. Could you please stay a while? I'll wait. I've crossed the herbs so they'll be easier to take. Could you please bring them to my patients? Just tell them they're for me, Likaun. I thought I brought you more herbs than this. I needed to save a double dose for my grandmother. I'll give it to her soon. Sure. I'll just deliver the rest, then. Thank you. All my patients are in and around the Hora of Delphi. One should be at the animal pens to the west. One is building a house in the northeastern corner. And, uh, one works in the fields to the south. Come back here when you're done. I'm sure I can find them. Legaon sends his regards. The medicine he promised. Thank you. Tell me, did he look well? He didn't look sick to me. I've seen him up and walking around at all hours, mumbling to himself. He seems worried. I should bring him some sweets to cheer him up. I'm sure he'd appreciate that.
These herbs are from Glicaon. Oh, thank you. That physician is so thoughtful and so handsome. It's too bad he's decided not to marry. Why not? He just told me some nonsense about not wanting to burden an innocent woman with his worries. Personally, I just wish he'd been honest and said I'm not his type. I wonder why he'd say that. Likaon made this medicine for you. Thanks. See, I take care of these beasts, and Likaon takes care of me. Too bad nobody takes care of him, though. What do you mean? His parents died young. His grandmother raised him, but then... she was born under a cursed star. Never mind that. He's a good boy. I'm sure he is. I delivered all your medicine. Seems you have a lot of people concerned for your well-being. Thanks. Um... My grandmother, Praxithea, I have to bring her the last of the medicine. Will you come along with me to her house? I think I need your help. Yes. I'd like to know what's going on here. Oh, thank you. Please, my grandmother's house is this way. Thanks for coming with me. Why do you ask me that? If someone is impious to the point of doing grave injustice to people as well as the gods, do they not deserve punishment? What did Praxithea do? She spoke false prophecies for years. Those who came to her for advice received only lies. Your grandmother was an oracle? Yes, up on the hill in Delphi. She confessed to me recently that she never heard the gods and only repeated the words she was told. Told by vile people with evil intentions. Exactly. Wars have been fought over those words. She can't be left unpunished. I... My family was torn apart by a false prophecy. If it was one of hers, I may take matters into my own hands. Likaon, I know what you want to do. You'll just bring more shame on our family. I don't want to do this, Agavi. But for the sake of justice, we can't let Praxithea live. It's out of our hands anyway. Some strange men were searching the village today, looking for her. I brought them here, and they dragged her away. What kind of justice is that? You won't understand. She was an impious old fool. Now we have nothing more to worry about. Who are you anyway? I'm Cassandra. I have also been wronged by a false prophecy. It might have been your grandmother's. If we don't find her, we can't settle any of this. Please help me figure out where she's been taken. I'll look for clues. What did you expect me to do? All that talk about killing? But... Have you seen anything strange going on around here? Well, if bandits taking over my cousin's farm is strange, yes. What did they do? Gave her a running start. She can't go back there. They've set up camp, and they're armed and dangerous. Interesting. Where is that farm? It's not far west of here. But I wouldn't mess with those bandits. Thanks for the advice. That wasn't the way it was supposed to happen. This is my responsibility, not yours. Praxithea must have lost this bracelet in the struggle. But no ordinary thief would have left something so valuable behind.
This looks like a contract. Deliver the package to the drop-off and don't damage it. If they mean Ligaon's grandmother, chances are she's alive. Praxithea was kidnapped and brought to a farm west of here. The bandits were hired to deliver her alive. Well, thank you for figuring that out, Cassandra. I'm no fool, Likaon. Your sister put Praxithea in great danger, and you've been asking me about killing. Do you want me to end her life? No. It has to be me. I need to kill her. She's your grandmother, and you're no killer. You should give this more thought. She's my responsibility. I don't want her to suffer. That's why I asked you for Mandrake. It's a painkiller. But for now, will you go to the farm to stop those bandits? I don't think I can take them all on myself. Let's go find Praxithea. Thanks, Cassandra. You said the farm was to the west. I'll miss you there. Must be the farm where Praxitia is being held prisoner. I should be extra careful in this area. get away from here. Could more bandits be coming? Please, let's get out of here. Thank you for saving me, dear child. Don't thank me, voice of Apollo. Or were those someone else's words you spoke? So you've met my grandson. You're right. I lied to everyone. I am so sorry. The gods should have killed me by now. Instead, they made me live with my remorse. Did she tell you? Is she the oracle who brought ruin on your family? I'm sorry for what I've done. I accept my punishment. But please, don't let my grandson kill me. Likaon's a good man, a healer. This would break him. No, it is my responsibility. I must be the one to end her. If you don't finish this, Likaon, you won't be able to live with yourself. Go on, kill her. Then 
and this is where I leave. Live as a killer or live as a coward, Ligaon. I can't help you anymore. 